University of Arlington is offering a new course this semester. It's offering a drone course that trains students to get a drone pilot's license. Fox 4's Stephen Dial joins us now with more on how it works. Colleges have been doing a lot of interesting things to try to prepare students for life after college and UTA is one of the few colleges in Texas offering the program and the only associated with the FAA that is offering it specifically for construction and engineering students. It's easy to see. Now practice moving forward and descend. This course is very hands on. This is the first year UTA added a drone course to their curriculum. This course is tailored to engineering students. Dr. Z Yin is the professor. I was a little bit nervous in the first day, but I think they are more careful than, than I am, which I really appreciate. As a future engineer, they should be careful with something the first time they try it. Part of the learning is in the classroom, but outside is where students perfect their skills. I play a lot of video games, so it's, it's like playing a video game. The FAA has about 140 colleges in its drone program. UTA is one of seven in Texas. It's the only program in North Texas and the only college offering it specifically for construction and engineering students. It's good to have another skill set and it's good to get out of the classroom a little bit, you know, because we're always behind, you know, books, just doing equations, solving problems. So I think it's good to get out and, you know, fly drones, be outside. The drone program is part of a bigger picture, the changing future of robots and machines in construction and engineering. UTA is also nearing completion of an autonomous vehicle research facility in Fort Worth. The $2.3 million project is expected to be completed in January. Yeah. Yin told us whether the students use what they've learned to assist on construction sites or start their own business, he believes this course will set students apart from the competition in corporate America. If they're able to use for, for their work for different applications, you can do a 2D mapping, 3D modeling, you can use a drone for, 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 for uh, say construction inspection, they can certainly use for other commercial purposes. We definitely had a fun time with the students out at UTA earlier today. And if you're not an engineering student, Dr. Yin told me that on Wednesdays, they make drone learning available to any student or staff on campus. So trying to get everyone involved. Yeah, and definitely a nice break from sitting in a desk all day in the classroom. All right, thanks, Stephen.